Hi guys, it's August and that means it's time for how I store my K-pop stuff video and this is the first time that you're gonna see my shelves completely full well, because they are actually completely full okay, so let's get started uh, well, the organizing is still kinda the same but I just have more albums so, yep we start off with this section on the side next to my door the bottom still has all my Super Junior photo books uh, organized chronologically because that's what makes sense or the really big ones are there because they, they can only lay down and there are the Super Show ones so yeah, that's the Suju photo book, official photo book one then if you move here you get all my Donghae plus the Super Junior group um, fansite photo books so these are the fansite photo books and actually I have a new one which I never did an unboxing of but I don't know they want me to. It's been so long since I did a fun site photo book unboxing. I built it this year. Like, I, I don't know when. Maybe around May or something. Yeah. So, yeah, and some cheering towels over there. And then next to that, you have the really big and like it's hard to store things. So, Hangang's album, the Mrs. Simple covers, the Japanese Mrs. Simple single, and the Sexy Free and Single, all colors. And then I also have all the F Japan magazines that I own and the SM Town Station Season 1 big CD thingy. So, it's almost full, but I guess I can fit some more magazines there. But I'm really hoping we won't have more of these really tall, 30 centimeter tall albums because they're a bit too troublesome, especially if there's more of them. So, like, a bit smaller, please. So yeah, that's it for this uh, suju part. Then this one is like the really big things that actually don't fit anywhere else. Like the LPs are right here, the solo LPs, and there are the brochures as well. And the uh, making book of Attack on the Peanut Boy. So these are the brochures. See, they are really tall. So these are like, uh, the shelves are like 30 centimeter wide. So things are taller than that. But those go here. Then some magazines that I bought ages ago, and they're all my Donghae, mainly Donghae clear files. They don't like to stand, but like these are like, normally <laughs> they're like this, but it takes like five seconds for it to fall over the whole thing. So yeah, it's it's like not perfect. It used to be stored a bit differently, and it was a bit better, but now that there is more. Yeah, so there are some empty star card boxes. It's not like the things get hurt, it's just they are not stored prettily, and that's my problem. And some more merch, and the Lion King too, because that's the cutest thing ever. So yeah, <laughs> some poster holder for one of Donkey's posters is also here. Normally it stands like this, but again, there's mess with it. And then some Tom brochures behind this, the two that I own, then the Super Show 4, limited DVD in Japan, and Hero, and the light stick. So these are the two big things that I store here. And actually this corner is that I use of two B unboxed albums for. So I have some Kinetkin, some My Teen, and Momoland. So yeah, I have those here, but... I'm not in a hurry to unbox them, but they are usually here. The pile is usually like this tall, like <laughs> so it usually moves around here. So yeah, that is that. And then this one, this really small section, is basically just postcard boxes in the back and then photo card or memory card or sticker kind of different thin boxes. That's it. And back there I have all my concert light sticks. All of them. I actually have a completed Super Junior concert light stick collection. Kinda. Nobody actually knows, so yeah. Uh, then this one is for season greetings back there. The boxes are there. Random star card boxes always pop up. And those are some fan site calendars because I also have those. And then the diaries are here. Some random singles and other extras that I just don't know where to store. Yeah, that's really cute. What am I gonna do with it? It's like Japanese singles, extras, and yeah. The FG Pack, I really like that thingy. They look really nice. And the Dust Collector Hero Sandy. So, yeah. And then I guess this section. This looks messy, but it's not that messy. It just looks like that because of the mug, I guess. I don't know. By the way, I also have this mirror. It's FG Japan Magazine Extra. It's cute. So there's that. <laughs> yeah. So, um, 
this is mainly my Goong part. Yeah, I got a new Goong DVD because, um, why do I have that here? Okay, so I got a new version of Goong because it's Goong. And then I have my other version of Goong and then some comic book version of Goong. And then an OST, of course, and then other OSTs I own of dramas. So, yeah, there are those, some Monstax Season Greetings boxes. And there's a Suju one, the, that one, the 2018 one, then Hyoyom photo. Then this is my Goong uh, Alfred. I have that too because Goong and then a random Donkey Fanside calendar that I just occasionally flip and change the pages when I feel like so it's like I've been doing that for years and then some some scratch cards which I, I I'm not really collecting but I don't know where to store them yet so they are like temporarily placed here and I got these as extras from a seller that I bought a random card from so yeah I have even more of those yeah, it, it, it's weird. So, if you move here, you get my main Super Junior collection. No, this is that. So this is my main Korean discography. Chronologically, of course, everything is there. If I have trades, this is my Sabina trade pile. And then, uh, I don't know. This is an extra. Does anyone want to trade this, you know, for something? I have it already. So, this is on hold, this 1-0 card. And empty top loaders for trades. It's like... I usually have it laid out here so I don't forget about them. It it kind of works, so I yeah, it works. <laughs> so this is the subunit part from KRY to DNA, everything kind of Korean and really un big sized Japanese things that are just like awkward. So yeah, there's but it's mainly just the Korean at least for DNA. I don't know, it's Japanese for the others. Yeah, for DNA it's just Korean because they have so many Japanese. And then these are my Super Show CDs, live CDs, and the related things, and extra DVDs. There, is, there are the Unhe socks, because the is right there, my necklace. I do occasionally wear that, but I'm really careful always. And then I had to move that here. So the solos are now below where they used to be, because obviously you can see that it's not working on the same shelf anymore. So these are the solos, of course, in age order, so starting from Hitchall. And then I decided that I just don't want to waste space with the kinos, so they are just like standing kind of here. I don't know, eventually I might just remove all the kinos, store them like on a shelf like that, and then just all the kinos are separately because they're usually these thick boxes, so they take up a lot of space, but they are tiny. So, yeah, so here are all the solos, and there is my big saxophone single panel, Japanese single behind it. There's the Mamacita one, which used to be next to it, but there's no space for that. Then Tumblr mug, Japanese single, what? And then that extra little bear thingy, and then opera puzzle pieces are still here. Then the other three socks are here. So, and then pins and like other random stuff that are just like suju. <laughs> yeah, so there are those. And I guess, okay, so more suju. We are gonna do just suju first. So here are my Japanese singles for suju. So it's like kind of below it. It's like kind of far, but it's not that bad. So there are all the Japanese singles and one full album, jewel case size. That's a Donkey Mug from his store. And then these are my extra play replay copies because it's amazing. I love it. Actually, these three are extras, but I'm just like, okay, they're here. So, yeah, and then irregular size Japanese releases that are not jewel cases like that. So they are here. So mainly group stuff. It's group stuff. Now that I look at it, it's group stuff. And there are these two because I like to keep them here. So yeah, these are the random member versions from the Super Show 7 in Tokyo. For one more time, sorry. So above that, and above that. So these two are my DVD shelves. Starts off with OST, but yeah, it's all the DVDs that I own. Not yet, not quite complete yet, but it's it's not that bad now, I guess. I don't know what I'm gonna do when it fails. There are no plans like that. I never planned it, this shelf to be filled, which makes no sense. Obviously, it's gonna get filled. What? And this is the SM Town section, the SM Town uh, collaboration CDs and the DVDs for concerts. So, yeah, there are those as well. And then here are my chocolates behind the popcorn boxes. 
yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's almost full, I know. So yeah, and there's still some that I need, not that many, but I guess it would go up to here, kinda, if I just got everything that I'm missing right now and not thinking about the future ones. So these are the DVDs. Then above that, there is the DNA Japanese section, the small things that actually fit here. And then these are the This Is Love ones with the polar bear hat. It has eyes and such, but yeah. So. This is love. And above that, more extra copies, some Mamacita, Devil, Magic, and then other random stuff that SM makes me buy for photo cards section. Yeah. Okay. So, that is it kind of for Suju, I think. Probably. But you never know. <laughs> so, this little cupboard kind of thing, of course, still holds all my binders. Those for Super Junior postcards, and those are for photo cards, and that's the extra. So, Suju, Suju Big Things, Top Groups, Girl Groups, Boy Groups, other extras, mainly Star Cards, other, I don't know, it's just random. And then extras, unofficial, and trade notes and such. And then over there, there are things. Like, the pre-order envelopes for the twice pre-order photo cards are here. Yeah, I know, this is like... Annoying. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> then, of course, my Ultimate Girl Bias group, FX, has their own little section. Here are all the things that they actually have. Then, Nine Museums, my second favorite girl group, also has their own section with some Hyeon and Yuri I Got a Boys, which I always forgot to show in my girl group collections because, like, they are not stored with the rest of SNSD things, but I do have them. Then, if you move, then my third girl group, Tiara, then, there's so many stuff, then after school, Kara, Dashabet, and Oh My Girl. And that's my top girl groups, basically. Then, if you move here, you get my Tiara Japanese collection. If you move some more, mainly after school, but some Kara and one Dashabet related Japanese things. This is almost complete, like, can you see that? Well, I can move this, obviously it doesn't need to be facing here, but yeah, it's mainly those groups just here for Japanese releases. So yeah, there's that. Then let's move back. Below FX, above Fansite Food Books, there are my second and third favorite boy groups, Shinwa and Infinite. I, because of space issues, I had to start like Infinite and then just Infinite does that. I'm not a fan of that layout thingy, but... Yeah, so there's Shimba, of course, then Infinite, Infinite, and in fact, as well, and Random FX. Don't ask about that, that that's very random. So the three In Fact albums are here, because In Fact is actually entered my top boy groups, but it's just space issues. The most annoying thing is happening here, so I'm very organized normally, but at, after a point, I don't have space, so it's harder to organize, obviously. So... Then, next boy group is Jaya, my fourth favorite boy group, and the limited lovability album is here. Then the limited uh, uh, spectacular album is back there. So, yeah, there are some issues with storing this as well. And then some Mad Town, they're the only ones who don't take up much space. And then Monstax. They take up a lot of space. <laughs> so yeah, that's the perfect place I found for the Take Two albums. Yeah, I know. I know. There are some issues here. And then after most tags, there is in fact. So that's my order normally. So, but I, where am I going to fit that? So that's why it's over there. <laughs> and then Dome Shinki and such. So normally I would start with, well, I guess JYJ and Keep Your Head Down. I don't know, so, like, before you go is here because it's bigger, keep your hair down is over there because it's smaller, yeah, I know. So, it starts here, behind it there is the Catch Me Limited, can you even see that? Probably not, it, it's there. And then chronologically everything in order as it was released with some Junsu solos. So basically I, I have Homin, JYJ and Junsu solos here, because the Domashiki stuff are, at least they are tiny. So the DB5K things are like here, starting from triangle, so then some pretty myrotic because they are gorgeous, they are so pretty. And the plan would be to 
actually have these, the JYJ, the beginning and keep your head down albums there and as well as the Junsu signature but it's just bulky and I can't fit it there. It used to be there, it's not there anymore because I can't fit it anywhere else. So these three albums should be there chronologically and this section should be only the Manshinki because all, like five member the Manshinki because all their stuff are small. So yeah. So I have Mert A, B and C. So yay, and Japanese Reese's I have T and the best section, so yay. Uh, yeah, and then Japanese Reese's for the top groups. So basically if there's some Jia, I need a lot, I really want to collect those. Then there is Mad Town, I still need Jotas, so please help me. And then some Monstax, I, I need to catch up, but I'm just not bothered at this point. Like, I'm, I'm, not, bothering with, I'm not bothering with Japanese Reese's these days, so... And then some Yukis and Uptension and 2PM are there. So below that there is actually the, the Infinite Star Card boxes and some posters that I accidentally end up with when the seller includes them. So yeah. And then some extra albums and this doesn't this is a mess. So yeah. Then this shelf yeah, so this is probably the one in the worst condition and this is the reason why I need another tiny shelf, not this big one, but like maybe three levels and like less than this wide, but you know, just remove some things here because this is crazy. So after the machine key there is Yukis and then Speed, so that kind of works. And then Pentagon, so that's obviously like the new release summary is already there. Then. 2-4-K, kinda, then the boys, there and there, Ugh. <laughs> I don't even like to look at that, it's so annoying, then New East, and there, <laughs> I'm sorry, and then shiny, bigger things, because I actually had to remove the small jewel cases, which are against my rules, because they are like, continuing, like, it, it just makes no sense to just remove random albums for me, if it's entire Japanese collection, you know, like it makes more sense. And I also have keys solos there. Oh, wonderful, I know. This is so annoying. <laughs> this shelf is the worst. I mean, at least it fits many stuff, so yeah. So that was it for the entire bottom part of my shelves. Now let's move on to there. <laughs> I know. So above this uh, subunit and Super Show Live CD part, some girl groups. So from in the bottom it went from left to right but there it goes from right to left. It makes more sense because I used to organize my stuff like this but this layout of my shelves kind of made me do left to right on this section, these top groups, while I just continued with what I used to do back then. So pristine, I know. Then some lovelies. These albums look so pretty and they take up so much space. Then La Boom, Hello Venus, Sun and Moon, some Red Velvet. Again, RBB can't fit. Like, it's just there. And that's the new place of April. Yeah, you know about that now. So, I know. It's crazy. Then there is Dreamcatcher. Again, the latest albums just have that, that thing on the top. So. Then Everglow, can you see that one album? It's there. There is Everglow. Then some Luna. Wait. Okay, so I'm up here. So, uh, some Luna. These are just the subunit and group releases, not the solos, because it looks prettier like this. It's just a big block of white albums. It's it's nice because they are the same, but like, yeah. So, then there is some AOA. Then some bus up, but it's tiny, and then a bunch of twice, and then a pink. And that's this section above this girl group one, and then it continues over there. And I need to show this, so yeah, these are my girl group Japanese releases, mainly member cup versions like a pink, a way, and iZone, and such. So yeah, that's what I have here. It, it, it matches, like it, it's there, you know, it's not that bad. <laughs> Why is that there? Okay, so we are back here. So there was a pink, and then SNSD has, has this dividing it, but I guess it's like Korean up to here and then Japanese there. Yeah, so there's a bunch of SNSD. Still not completed, but looking pretty nice. It's really pretty. 
and then rainbow then four minute Wonder Girls I do want some more Wonder Girls I don't know Girls Day I need to work on that Bestie Stellar then GWSN Tahiti very good then Wikimiki and then it continues up there but I ju I'm just not willing to remove my babies here so this is basically Chunk has little corner so these are all Chunk has solos it kind of used to be like IOI here and then it continued to be Chungha because like that made sense but this is now just this Chungha <laughs> and then Unity and Boa's solo so Boa kind of goes here because solos make sense for me and then Unity is my ultimate favorite survival show group because they are literally perfect and pretty much half of them are my biases so yeah so these are here they are not ranked they are just here so let's move on to there I'm really sorry for jumping around, but I, I'm literally too small for the shelves <laughs> and the room. So, I have boxes full of books to hold the albums, all of them. So, after Wikimiki, I guess, kinda, it's Fiesta, then Gugudan, then Favorite, then CLC, then Daya, then Ujusanya, so WJSN, then Crayon Pop, Brave Girls, EXID, Melody Day, Rania, and Secret. That's kind of it. I miss Miss Say. That's basically the only group that is ranked properly on my list and I don't have a single album off. That's the only girl group. I do have some plans to buy some other girl groups that are not, not actually ranked, but they're albums I like and I want to buy. So, yeah. And then this is the project group or like survival shoe group section. You have IY here, the two albums that I wanted, and then iZone because Chayon, and I have just Chayon's things. And then Brown Light Girls is not rankable, Card is not even a girl group, it's just there here. And then SCS not rankable, of course, then Luna Solo is not rankable, and then Orange Caramel not rankable because I am I hate Pladis. And that's an April standy and it's so pretty, so yeah. Basically, when I had to move April up there, I decided now that would be a lie, so I just moved them here because I actually listened to their albums so many times. Like this, 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 and this are all masterpieces. And well, I like the single too, so like I just love these releases so much. I'm obsessed. So let's move on to boy groups. Okay, so next to April, basically, you have my boy groups after. Well, not Shiny. Shiny is not ranked. Shiny owns that corner down there so they own that corner nothing is moving there and after New East basically yeah New East is ONF I love ONF they only have three releases so far so they are there then some BIG C Clown I actually got one more C Clown album I have an unboxing filmed <laughs> um, then Gold, Golden Child because I'm a, I really like William groups so I always end up with William groups so yeah some Ulim, then Top Dog, almost complete. No, not really. Then Uptension. I love their albums, they are so tiny and they don't take up. Like, look at that, that is massive. That's such a discography. And then it takes up, like, such a little space. I love them. <laughs> it's so pretty. And then I look at any kind of box packaging and I hate it. So there is 2 p.m. Some 2 p.m. Not completed, obviously. And then the CM Blue album that I wanted. I used to have a CM Blue wish list. Then I decided against it. But this album I already had, and it's like the most single most important CM Blue album for me. Actually, the reason that I'm into K-pop is kinda this album. So yeah, I needed that anyways. Then some SS501 with a style because DSP. Then Daeguk Nama, the boss, I guess. Then there is Surprise, the acting group is there. And then uh, Hot Shot with Sangwoon's and Taehyun's solos as well. And Vix, some Vix, Vix, and then Snooper. And then Teen Top. Yeah, I, like that's what you can see. This is absolutely terrible. Okay, so. Let's go to here first. This is 
project groups again. So Reigns, I have those releases, and then JBJ basically. So Shihyun and Longu is the first thing, and then a bunch of JBJ, JBJ, actually JBJ, and then Donghan Solo, Yongook Solo, Donghan Solo, JBJ Guo. Guo, Guo, and then Donghan again. So basically it's going to be just JBJ95, or JBJ Guo, and then Donghan Solos. And there are the Samuel releases, the four that he has. So those are there. And then this is the Wonder 9 release that I have. No space for it, but I love them so much. So they're on top of JBJ that I also love. JBJ95 is like that border of top groups and other boy groups. So they are technically after in fact, but they just have this wonderful place for their albums because it's it's pretty. So and I hate this. I absolutely hate this. But behind there, there is another group. And that is actually 17. And I hate that fact so much. I also like 17. But there is a reason. So basically, EXO, BTS, and 17 are the groups that I decided they are that popular. Many people love them. I also like them. But I feel bad for other groups if I rank them and compare them to those groups. So I feel bad for underrated groups when I like those groups as well. Like it's just a mess. So I decided to not rank them with the rest. But I still buy their albums because they have great music and I like the boys. So yeah. <laughs> I hate it. I love Seventeen too. Believe me. This is terrible. I have the releases that I wanted. It's there. The tiny albums are down there and you can't see them. But they are there. They are there, kind of. I don't know. So, if you go up here, that's more boy groups, I guess. Um, basically, it's temporary group thing again. So this is the 101 part. I did buy the last album, so it's going to be complete. And then the UMB things. Uh, so, yeah, I have uh, my beautiful Songwon and Beijing debut albums. And then I just bought normal versions. <laughs> like, like, normally I did them, but... They don't have member covers, so there's the Wonder 9 standee. So please support them. And yeah, that's the section. So that matches. And then that is the EXO BTS section. So normally it looks like this, but it, the, this book stop thing used to be there, but there are more albums now to fit the book stop. So still need some more EXO, but believe me, they are there. So I love that album so much. The one that you can see. That, the power of music, what? I love that album so much. <laughs> and there are the, all the BTS things. I still need one more, the dark and white album, but I actually am doing good with BTS, at least. And I need to buy EXO. So, there is that. So, EXO, BTS and Seventeen are not ranked. But again, I love them enough to buy almost all their albums. Then, you know, that still means a lot of things. So, yeah. And a bunch of standees that are just like, oh. GWSN is just here. And there is BTS, there is Chen. Like, <laughs> I know, it's it's a mess. So if you go up here, you still have some more boy groups, but this is the very last section, sorry. So there's Alphabet, I love them. I bought their other releases because I've seen them live twice, so I'm like, I need them. So then some B2B, I need to expand that, and then B1A4. Then Cross Gene, God7, so many things. BAP, that is quite okay, I guess. Then SF9, not okay properly, but it's fine for now. Then Kinakin, yeah, I need to unbox the other two albums, but yeah, they are there. Then uh, I do have the second one, I just never uploaded the unboxing, so one us. So there's one us. And then six is here, and then Stray Kids. 80s, then AB6 with MXM, Ace, VAV, Trey, uh, Back Percent, and then I'm Black. So, yeah. that That's it. That's my entire shelf tour. I'm sorry. I expected this to be like 20 minutes long and it's over 30. I'm really sorry. So... I actually can't fit the entire shelf. I'm already at my bed, like, so I can't go backwards anymore. Uh, the camera is not really wide-angled, so, yeah. 
but I'm pretty sure I'm like very informed about my own collection, like I know the things. So it's so pretty though. Look at that. <laughs> I love looking at it. I, I wake up and it's like, oh, my pretty albums. <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Hope you liked it.